what now? In recent weeks, I've found myself bumping into this question more frequently. I've walked with families who are working through pain. I've seen many grade 12 students and university students wondering what might be on the horizon after graduation. And I've even had conversations with folks about different life transitions they are looking at. Moving, changing jobs, health issues. And the one common denominator in all of these interactions has been the prevailing and somewhat deafening ask of what now? This question seems to stem from some sort of identity crisis. When a role that we've played begins to shift, like a graduation from an achievement of sorts, we seemingly lose sight of a piece of our identity. We are no longer what we used to be, and we are uncertain of who we are in the immediate and now not as distant future. I wonder if the tension we experience is because we've allowed our identity to be shaped more by the roles we've been accustomed to playing, rather than the values or the principles that serve as the foundation of our lives. If roles in life change, and if experiences sometimes facilitate that change, how might one process a what now season in their lives? Here are three simple suggestions. Breathe. It might seem like a no-brainer, but it's absolutely critical. Without oxygen, we will die. And sometimes the pain that we experience in a what now season impedes our physical ability to breathe. So we need to create the space to not only breathe physically, but process the emotional, spiritual, and even intellectual realities of a what now season. So create that space and don't forget to catch your breath. Seek wise counsel. Get input from others who have walked a what now season before you. Now their experience might not mirror your experience, but you can still learn from what they have to say, having gone on this journey before you have. You're not expected to figure everything out on your own. Take the time to connect with people who believe in you, people who care about you, people who have your best interests at heart, and invite them to journey with you. It takes time to work through a what now season. And sometimes in our instantaneous, results-based culture, we expect things to happen more quickly than they should. Be patient with yourself and others who are facing a what now season. It takes time to work through any season in life. You don't get over a what now season, you get through it.